one of the best things they can do is speak directly to their family member who has the hoarding problem and ask them about the things that they have in the home and also express their concern. So they might say something like, I see that a lot of things have accumulated in your dining room now and that you're not using your dining room table. Uh, I remember that it used to be a little bit clearer than this. Can you tell me what's happened? They can also ask direct questions uh, about the stuff. Uh, tell me more about why these things are here. Tell me about these things. I see these are new. Tell me more about that. They can, and that will get them some information about why the family member is having the problem. Another important thing that they do need to say is, I'm concerned about you. I'm worried because I can see that there's a lot of paper piled here next to your stove. And I am concerned that there's a significant fire risk here. And even if the family member pushes back and says, oh, no, 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 I have control over that, or I'll move that right away, or I'll, I'll move it tomorrow, or I'll take care of that, they still want to come back and say, how can I help you with that? What would be useful to you? Because I won't be able to leave today if, I, you know, if this is still here. This is going to be a problem that I will continue to be concerned about. So expressing concern for the loved one is an important issue, and focusing on the harm that is possible is another critical variable. The tone definitely needs to be one of affection and concern coming from a place of love, if possible.